Yo, what's good? It's your boy Sid. We back at it with another video. This video is going to be on a quick tip to actually guesstimate yours or a person's Mercury and Venus sign placements based upon knowing the sun sign placement, right? So this is a rule of thumb. Whatever you or a person's sun sign is, the Mercury, the planet Mercury, it moves pretty fast. Excuse me, it moves pretty um, much in close proximity in relation to the sun, right? So that means that whatever sun sign you have, your Mercury placement will either be in the same sign as your sun placement, or it will be no more than one sign before or one sign after, right? And then the Venus sign placement will be either and the same sign as your sun sign, or no more than, at the most, two signs before or two signs after. So I'm going to give you an example of what I mean. So for instance, let's say this was somebody's chart right here, and they had their sun and Aries when they were born. Uh, Mercury, right? Mercury would either be in the same sign as the sun, which is Aries. So they either have an Aries Mercury or no more than one sign before, which is Pisces is the sign that comes before, even though it's the 12th sign. And Aries is the first, it would be no more than one sign before or one sign after, which is Taurus, if somebody has a sun sign Aries. And we're going to look at different examples. We're going to look at a multitude of charts. So that way you can see what I'm saying is accurate pretty much, right? And then um, the Venus placement will either be in the same sign. So they either have a Venus sun or no more than, at the most, two signs before or two signs after. So two signs before is Aquarius. So if they have an Aries sun, their Venus sign placement can either be in Aquarius constellation, right? Aquarius is the 11th sign, or it could be in the 12th sign, which is the sign right before it, right? In Pisces, or if it's not, or excuse me, it could also be in the Aries constellation or, or sign, or no more than two after. So it could either be in Taurus or Gemini, that would be for the um, airy suns, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to an example, a uh, multitude of examples. We're gonna go on astroseek.com, which we were on. Let's look up some famous people's charts. And we're just gonna see if this rule applies. You know what I mean? So let's start off with, today is January the 12th, I'm filming this. Let's start off with um Joe Frazier, the boxer. And let's see if this rule applies. So, Sun is in Capricorn, and we said the Mercury sign will either be in the same sign as the Sun sign, which we see is right here, or no more than one sign before, which is Sag, the ninth sign, because Capricorn is 10, or Aquarius, which is one sign after, right? But it is in, in, the, in the sign. Now, we said the Venus would be no more than one sign before, right? Or, excuse me, we said the Venus would be either in no more than two signs before, Right, two signs before would be Scorpio, one sign before Sag, which is in Sag, the Venus, or no more than two before. So, I mean, two after, excuse me, which would be Aquarius and Pisces, the Venus sign placement could have been in, but it's not there. All right. Okay. So let's continue. Let's go to Amory, also born as a Capricorn sun, January 12th. Amory's chart. So when she was born, She's a Capricorn sun, we said. Let's go to Mercury. Mercury is in the sign of Sagittarius. All right? And then we see that Venus is also in the sign of Capricorn. No more than either the same sign or two before or two after. And Mercury is one sign before. All right? So let's go back to someone else's chart. Okay, we'll go to Jeff Bezos, January the 12th. Sun is in Capricorn. Then we see Mercury is in the same sign as Capricorn. So it applies in terms of the rule. And we see Venus is in the sign after, which is Aquarius. So Venus was one sign after, not two, but the rule applies. Hey, let's so let's go to some other people. Let's go to occupations. Let's go to some entrepreneurs. Okay. 
And let's see what we got. Okay, put Lil Wayne here. Lil Wayne is a Libra sign. So we got Libra sign. We got Mercury in the same sign. And then we got Venus in the sign before, right? And again, for a Libra sign, the Venus sign placement would have been no more than Leo, which is two signs before, if not in Virgo, which his was, or two signs after, which is Scorpio, which is one sign after Libra. And two signs is the ninth sign of Sagittarius. So the rule applies. All right. Um, let's go to Sam Walton of Walmart. And I think Sam's Club. Every sign, we see Mercury is also in the same sign, right? And then we see the Venus placement is no more than two signs before, right? Pisces is the 12th sign, one sign before. Aries, because Aries is the first sign. And in Aquarius, two signs before, the 11th sign. Mercury is in the same sign. So, yeah, this rule applies. Let's look at some more charts. Steve Jobs is a Pisces sun. Pisces sun right here. And then we see the Mercury sign is in Aquarius, which is the 11th sign or the sign before Pisces, right, right here. And then the Venus sign placement is two signs away from Pisces, which is in Capricorn. Capricorn is the 10th sign. Aquarius is the 11th. Pisces is the 12th. Right? So we see this rule applying. So you may not know exactly where a person's Mercury and Venus placement will be at just knowing their sun sign, but it's giving you some indications of a good guesstimate, possibly, you know. Let's go to Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a Cancer Sun, life path number seven. So Cancer Sun over here. All right. Let me see something. Cancer Sun. We see that Mercury is in the same sign as the Sun, which we said it could be in that sign or no more than one sign before or after. Then we see Venus and the sign before. Gemini is the third sign. Cancer is the fourth sign. This is a diacal order. So we see all these are adding up to what I'm telling you. So you can test this out in your chart and look at other people's charts to see also if this is accurate, which it should be. Um, Go to Dana White. Leo Sun. So the Mercury would be either in, this, in Virgo, which is the sixth sign after the fifth sign of Leo, or Cancer if it's not in Leo. So Mercury is in Leo, so it also is in the fifth sign, right? And then the Venus, two signs before, the third sign of Gemini. Excuse me, this thing keeps coming up. So the Venus sign right here. And it could have been for a Leo sign. Venus, again, could be either in Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, or Libra, right? Okay, let's see if there's anybody else we want to go to. Let's look at some more charts. Let's go back up. Let's go to some politicians. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, he's a Leo son. I did not know that. I've never seen this chart before. Okay. So, pretty simple. Leo son over here, right? The sign before Leo. Leo's the fifth sign. The fourth sign is Cancer. He has both his Venus and Mercury in this constellation or sign. All right, one sign before for both of them, which is applies to the rule and what I'm telling you. Adolf Hitler, Taurus son. I didn't know Adolf Hitler was a Taurus son. I'm a Taurus son. Okay, so Taurus son, we see the sign before, which is Taurus is the second sign. Aries is the first sign. So his Mercury's in Aries one sign before, so it applies. And then Venus is in the same sign as the sun, basically, right? Venus is up here in Taurus. Now, if you don't know what the glyphs are in terms of which planet they are, you can look over here. So this is the glyph of the sun. This is the glyph of the moon. This is the glyph of Mercury, Venus, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Saturn. And you still got to know 
what the signs are, but if you don't know, down here it will tell you like Mars and Taurus, Venus and the seven follows, Mars and the seven follows, Venus and Taurus for this person. Or you can click on the natal chart and you can scroll down and it will tell you, for instance, um, this person's sun is in Taurus. On Astro Seek, the moon is in Capricorn, and it will tell you the house. You get a little description and read about it. Mercury's in Aries for this person. So just as an example. So let's go to some more charts. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was an Aquarius sun. So we got Aquarius sun. We see Mercury in the sign before of Capricorn, which is the 10th sign. Aquarius is the 11th sign. And then... We see Venus over here in the sign after Pisces. So the rule applies right here, Venus. Okay. We'll look at some more. Uh, Al Gore. I remember Al Gore. From back in the day. So he's an Aries, right? Aries sign. Aries is the first sign. Pisces is the 12th sign. But technically... If we're going as a diagonal order, it's the last sign, but it will come before Aries. So the Mercury is there, one sign before, and then the Venus is one sign after in Taurus. All right, let's go to another one. Uh, Vladimir Putin, Libra Sun. A lot of these people, I've, these um politicians, I've never seen their charts before. Okay, so Sun and Libra over here. And then we see Mercury is down here in the same sign as Libra. And then we, Libra is the seventh sign. And we see the Venus sign comes right after in the eighth sign of Scorpio. And again, for Libra Sun, the Mercury could be no more than the sign before, which is Virgo, the sixth sign. Or if it's not in the seventh sign as well with the Sun sign. It could be in the eighth sign for Mercury, right? And then the Venus placement could be either two signs before, which would Libra suns can have their uh, Venus placement in Leo, which is the fifth sign. Virgo is the sixth. Libra is the seventh. Um, Scorpio the eighth and ninth Sag. So it'll be one of these placements, basically. One of these signs, excuse me. For my Libra suns. Okay, let's look at a few more. Martin Luther King Jr. Let me see something. He was a life path one. Okay, interesting. Okay. Capricorn sun. Capricorn is the 10th sign. Mercury was in Aquarius, which is the 11th sign. So this rule applies one sign after we said. And then Venus is two signs away, but two signs after in the sign of Pisces, the 12th sign. Uh, let's see if we see anybody's chart. That looks interesting. George Washington, the first president of the United States of America, uh, said to be so. Pisces sun, Pisces is the twelfth sign. We see Venus is also there. No more than either the same sign or two signs before or after. So that rule applies. And then Mercury is also in Aquarius, the sign before the eleventh sign. So this applies. Let's go to about, let's try maybe two more charts. Because again, it's starting to get repetitive, but I still want to get you guys to see what I see. Um, presidents. It's more Saddam Hussein. I want to look back at his chart because he's a Taurus son, life path seven, like me. I'm a life path seven and a Taurus. Okay. Taurus son. The Mercury is in Taurus as well, the same sign, which that rule applies. And then the Venus is one sign before. And Aries, the first sign, Taurus is the second sign, is a diacal order. So it's one sign before. So yeah, it applies. We'll look at one more chart. Let's go to a athlete. Hmm. Okay, let's go out with a banger, y'all. Let's try to find somebody that's interesting that I want to know about. If I don't see nobody, I'm going to go to another topic. Magic Johnson. 
I've never seen his chart. Oh, Michael. This is Michael, excuse me. I said Magic Johnson. I'm bugging. <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on a second. We'll go to somebody else. Let's go to... They got actors or artists, musicians. Yeah, let's find somebody for the last person. Bob Marley and Aquarius. Bob Marley's an Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius Sun. Okay. Last last chart we're gonna look at, y'all. All right, so Aquarius Sun, the Mercury's in the same sign, which we said applies, the eleventh sign of Aquarius. And then what do we see Venus? One sign after, two signs after. Right? So yeah, it applies. It's in the sign of Aries, two signs away from Aquarius. So Take this information, do what you will with it, apply it to your chart, see if it resonates with the people around you and look at their charts. And it should resonate. Um, I thank you guys for tuning in. I thank you guys for your time. We got more videos coming soon. I just want to give y'all that little tip. Peace to y'all.